Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome back. Dr. Obam Bowen here. I'm excited to share with you today, today's message. I think as you can see in part of the title, I said this one might be a little bit of a shocker to you because today I'm sharing something very important. It's what separates a lot of the successful people from a lot of the unsuccessful people. So it is still 2021, the year of the one thing. What's your one thing? Comment below what your one thing is in the comments. My one thing I chose this year is growth. And guess what? Growth, well, my definition of growth is defined as that thing that you do consistently to get out of your current comfort zone. And that's going to be so important for today. It's going to be so important. All right, so today's topic is, you know, what's your story? What's your life story? And listen, this life story is not the story you've been telling yourself. It's not what's happened to you today. It's not what's been going on to you all this time. Hey, Johan, long time, my friend. Hope all is well. Hi, Debbie. Welcome back. And Debbie said, stick to your plan. My one, that, there you go. Your one thing is stick to your plan. Thank you so much, Debbie. And for those of you who want to know more about the year of the one thing, and what we're doing to help entrepreneurs, go to the yearofthe1thing.com and find out what we're doing there. It's an amazing movement and what we're helping folks with. So let me tell you a little bit about your life story. And guess because this is the year of the one thing and my one thing is growth, I should have chosen to say, what is your growth story? Because we all have life. We all have a story. We all have the, uh, the choice to listen to what, happens in between our ears. You know, the most expensive real estate in the world, write this down, is the six inches between both your ears. That's the most expensive real estate. So the story you tell yourself is very important for your success. Now, here's the difference between successful and unsuccessful people. See, they tell themselves the story that they need to hear to live the life that's going to give them the lifestyle they choose. See, we all have life, but style is how we choose to live it. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about, and maybe this would be very helpful for you, right? So thank you all so much for the love, the hearts, and the comments, and everything going on. Tap, type your one thing in the comments. If this is being a blessing for you, tag someone, share it on someone else's timeline, be a blessing for them. Don't just take all the information for yourself. So here it goes. Number one, for those of you who don't know me or those of you are aware, you know, before I became financially free, before I became someone who can live and go and do whatever I want to with whomever I choose to, whenever I do desire to, I was broke. I was busted. Thank you so much, Melinda. Welcome. Thanks, Carmen. Welcome. I was broke. I was busted. I was, listen, I had gotten divorced from my first wife. I was homeless, living in a car for basically five years. And what kept me there was the story I told myself, like, oh, whoa, this is me, all these things that have happened. And nothing I was telling myself was empowering me. So, for example, when all that happened, I was still the individual who was, as I would say back then, because it's all part of my self-esteem. In fact, chapter 13 of my book, Today's Today, talks about the estimation of oneself, how to build you up, Right. I was still a United States Marine, or as I would say to myself back then, I'm still a badass Marine. I was still a United States Marine. I still held two master's degree, a doctorate, and two PhDs. I still had those things and all my other accomplishments. But see, what happens with most humans is we tend to believe the story that is negative from our birth that we've been living with ourselves. The world is 87% negative, which means your friends, your family, even yourself has reinforced the negative stories you tell yourself every time something happened. So here's my challenge for you today to start to write and create your growth story. Yes, look at all the things that has happened to you before. You can even write them down. All the things that's happened bad in the past. But here's what I want you to focus on. Focus on how you overcame those things that's happened to you. And your growth story is all that has happened. So my growth story, when something happens to me now, like recent, last year, I, I, I invested into something, lost over a million dollars. And my growth story for myself to get back, it only takes me 10, 15 seconds to come back up. It's like, yes, I've made other investments. Yes, I've made this investment that's yielded 170%. Yes, I've made this investment that is, yes, I've closed a hundred and a half thousand dollars from the stage. Yes, I have 
worked and procured a million plus contract signed with seven figure companies. Yes, right. And 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 your story is what you tell yourself that you believe. And you can believe all the things you did wrong, or you can believe all the things you've done right. Either way, you're still right, right or wrong. Doesn't matter, whatever you believe. And we tend to perform to the level of our belief. That is chapter four in the book, Today's Today. If you don't believe your own story, no one else will. You are the same person, the positive and the negative. Choose to decide and accept the positive for yourself. Yes, I've sold over 42,000 copies of my third book. Yes, I've sold 75,000 copies of the second book. Yes, I've sold 90,000 copies of the first book. See, these things are all the stories we tell ourselves, or I can look at, well, I said I wanted to to sell 100,000 copies of that book within the first year. That didn't happen. 90,000 copies didn't happen until pretty much almost the 18-month mark. I could look at the failure. I can look at how I recovered from those failures. So that's how you create your life story. You look at your losses and how you recovered. Only program yourself with the recoveries. And that, my friends, is your, your life story. That is your success story. That is your growth story. And that is the significant difference between those who succeed and those who fail. Successful people always give themselves the answers they're looking for. They don't look to anyone else to tell them they're good, they're great. Just know that you can do it to everything. Greatness lies within you. You were born with greatness. And remember that always choose growth. Because if you don't choose growth, you end up living a life of apathy. And apathy is a natural human instinct. It is common to us all, and it consistently forces us to seek a comfort zone where nothing ever changes. So you must remember, well, you don't, you, you don't have to, choose to remember that growth is your birthright. Constantly, everything in nature is growing or declining. Choose growth. This is Dr. Obama saying, hey, choose growth, because if you don't, you end up living a life of apathy. If this message reached you, touched you, or inspired you, please do me a favor. Share, 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 share with a friend. Tag someone, but enjoy and pass on this. So someone who might be going on a downward spiral, you might change the trajectory for them today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow with another piece that will help you with your growth. If you want to know more about what we're doing for entrepreneurs growing, go to the year of the one thing.com and find out more talk to you then bye for now